I made a post a while ago about me being a drums first producer. Like, are you drums first or are you sample first? Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today you already know we cooking up some boom bap. Um, I was digging, found this dope um, sample. I found a Bossa Nova sample first actually. And then I was like, you know, it has a good bounce, it has a good groove, but it's, it, it just, it's not doing it for me. It's just not, it's not connecting with me. So, found another sample. The sample sounds like this right here. No. Agora eu vou falar a desculpe a pretensão de um cabra que foi maior, bem maior que Lampião. That is the sample right there. Um, gonna go ahead and chop this up. If this is your first time watching, guys, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell, and turn on all notifications as well. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Let's get into this beat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So for me, I kind of like those Oriental style samples. You know what I mean? Bandina D something is the, the artist's name. I don't know who he is. The sample just kind of made me think of, you know, some early 90s boom bap type stuff. So that's kind of what I'm going to go for. So All right, so the sample is chopped now. So now since the sample is chopped, now I'm actually gonna go in, time stretch it, slow it down just a little bit, and then find some drums to, you know, throw on top of here or to throw on first, then add the sample in once we, you know, connect with that bounce. Man, I think my tempo is a little too slow for this. Might have to speed it up a little bit. And in case you're wondering, these drum sounds are coming from my Champion drum kit. You can grab that up at BoltLoadKits.com. Um, Champion drum kit is just a bunch of good drum sounds from for boom bap beats that I've you know collected over the years. So, so I'm about to add this snare in now. open hat ooh, set it off that open hat y'all don't even know in my brain that set it off that like really set the whole joint off K 
Can't do nothing without a open without a hi hat though. So let's put that in first before I drop this sample in. Da 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 da. Time to add the sample in. Yeah yeah. Man, I love it because, you know, now I feel like I have a good bass, a good bounce. I like to create drums first because it gives me, like, this specific bounce. And I have the bounce in my head. So a lot of people feel like, you know, they get locked in. They're locked in once they lay the drums down to, like, a specific groove. But that's really the whole point of it because you come up with a groove even when you lay the sample first. You're still locked in to a specific groove, you know. That's my take on that. So let me know in the comments, though. Are you drums first? Or are you sample first? Or melody, you know, melody, peak keys, whatever it may be. Do you lay that first? Oh my God, that gave me the nastiest face ever right there. I'm loving that. All right. <laughs> wow, that just blew my mind. That is crazy, man. This is crazy. I love when they come out. Like, you got, you got this idea in your mind where, like, you want it to come out this specific way. But then, like, it comes out ten times better. I love those moments. That's the ultimate producer moment. Like, every producer wants that moment. I'm about to go, I'm about to go nuts on the bass, though. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so, got a banger. I got I got a banger. I got a banger. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw, like, the bass line in there, put extra percussion and stuff like that in there, too, just to kind of make it, you know, all fit. This is a banger. I didn't expect it to flow together like that. I knew that, you know, those that drum pattern would work, but I didn't think that it would flow as good as it's flowing right now. So, man, give this video a thumbs up, all right? Let's get back into it. I'm about to add this bass line in. So the bass line is funky, the bass line is nasty. I was gonna throw the bass line in and like put a little extra percussion and stuff in there too. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just throw a little extra percussion. I don't think that I really need a lot going on in the track because I gotta leave room for the artist to really speak on this one, you know what I'm saying? But let me go put like the extra percussion elements that I was gonna put in, maybe like a bongo or something in there. Crash, of course, at the beginning. Let's go. That is the end of this beat. You know, don't want to put too much in. You know, you want to always give the room 
um, for the artists, you know, leave room for the artists so that they can, you know, spit some good storytelling, you know what I'm saying, bars. And that's really what this one would probably be. Um, I could hear like Def Squad on this, you know, this is early like Red Man, Eric Sermon time frame. Like, that's what this sounds like. But, you know, somebody new, you know, new age could go off of this too. I could hear like J.I.D. on here. Yeah, man. I mean, I like the beat. I like the, the you know, the sample, how it came out. I didn't know really what to do at first, but then I was like, hmm, I like how it sounds. So I'm going to figure out a way to, to chop, you know, the instruments up, you know, themselves, each hit. So that's what I did. And the beat came out really great i really love the bounce the funkiness to it if you guys like it make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and please do turn on all uh notifications you know what i'm saying just so you don't miss any more um of the videos all right until next time that is it uh be sure to follow me on instagram at they call me heat uh, twitter at underscore they call me heat and facebook producer young heat or facebook.com slash they call me heat and i'll be releasing this beat real soon um on the beat site thanks for watching y'all and until next time i'm gonna get up out of here peace